Welcome to this demonstration of how the VMware vCloud Director Tenant Portal can be used to manage users, groups and roles within an organization. Establishing a role-based access control mechanism is crucial within an enterprise and for organizations that utilize IT as a service. Within vCloud Director, roles contain specific rights that are assigned to users or groups that are created locally within vCloud Director or that are integrated with a third-party directory service. A service provider can control which rights are available for an organization. Besides that, a service provider is able to publish global tenant roles that cannot be modified. Additionally, an organization admin can create and modify roles only for the organization that they administer. The tenants, users or groups can be integrated within the vCloud Director Tenant Portal via one of the following options. They are locally created by an organization admin. Or the second option is to import the users and groups via LDAP, for example from OpenLDAP or Microsoft Active Directory. Additionally, users can be integrated through an identity provider using SAML. While the integration with a SAML-based identity provider like Active Directory Federation Services or VMware Identity Manager can be done completely by the organization administrator, the integration between the vCloud Director organization and the tenant's LDAP must be pre-configured by the service provider. In this demonstration, we focus on the usage of locally created users or LDAP integrated users and groups. The enablement of your organization to use a SAML-based identity provider will be demonstrated in another video. Let's have a look. After logging in to the vCloud Director Tenant Portal, navigate to the Administration page. Find the relevant options for users, groups and roles in the Access Control section on the left. On the Users page, Currently, three users are listed in the Happy Tenant organization. The Users List view gives you an overview about the user's state, enabled or disabled, if the user is locked out because of too many wrong password entries, for example, or which role has been assigned to the user and in which system the user has been created. This could be locally within vCloud Director or externally within an LDAP-based directory service. The quota settings define or control how many VMs a specific user is allowed to place or run within the vCloud Director organization. Let's check out the group settings. Groups can also be used to assign multiple users to a specific role. Groups cannot be created locally within vCloud Director and must be imported through LDAP, like for example from Active Directory. To verify that the service provider has properly configured the organization's LDAP integration, click Import Groups and search for a group that is available within the organization. If you get a result, the LDAP integration has been properly verified. Let's see how it looks like if the service provider has not created an LDAP integration. No users can be imported and the import link next to the new button is missing. Additionally, no groups can be viewed or configured. After the integration of a third-party directory service within an organization has been verified, let's have a look which operational tasks can be performed within the vCloud Director Tenant Portal. Typical administrative tasks consist of the creation of users or the import of users and groups by a third-party directory service or the modification, disablement or deletion of users and groups, for example, if an employee is leaving the company. Then, administrators create and modify custom roles to establish new cloud consumption use cases or delete them. Also, users and groups may need to get assigned to one of the service provider's predefined global roles or to custom roles the organization admin has created. By default, New users or groups can be assigned to one of the following global roles. Organization Administrator, Catalog Author, VApp Author, VApp User or Console Access Only. Users that are assigned to a role within vCloud Director are able to access the Tenant Portal. 
Each of these roles have a different set of privileges that will be discussed in the following demonstration. This demonstration will show you how to create, modify and unlock a new user within a vCloud Director organization. But first, let's familiarize ourselves with the users list in the vCloud Director tenant portal. On the users page, you can search or filter for specific values. For example, you can search for a specific user or a specific state, where you can list the users that are currently locked out, for example. To create a new local user, click New and insert the username and password. You can define quotas and provide contact information. Remember that the email address specified for the user can be used within the vCloud Director to send custom or automatically created notifications as well. Before we can save the newly created user, we need to assign an available role to it. This list shows the predefined global roles that are available to all organizations within the vCloud Director platform. These roles cannot be modified by the organization admin, but the organization admin is able to create custom roles that can be assigned from this context menu. So, what is the general purpose of each of those roles? A user with the predefined organization administrator role can use the vCloud Director web console, tenant portal, or vCloud Open API to manage users and groups in their organization and assign roles to them, including the predefined organization administrator role. Roles created or modified by an organization administrator are not visible to other organizations. The rights associated with the predefined vApp user role allow a user to use existing vApps. The rights associated with the predefined catalog author role allow a user to create and publish catalogs. The rights associated with the predefined console access only role allow a user to view virtual machine state and properties and to use the guest OS. The rights associated with the predefined vApp author role allow a user to use catalogs and create vApps. Rights associated with the predefined deferred to identity provider role are determined based on information received from the user's OAuth or SAML identity provider. This topic will be discussed in more depth in another video. After selecting a proper role, in this case the catalog author role, click Save and verify that the newly created user appears in the user list. If you want to import a user from an LDAP integrated third-party directory service, click Import Users. Search for the username that you want to import Select the proper account and assign a role to it. Click Save to add the user in the vCloud Director organization. Verify the newly integrated user by navigating to the organization's unique vCloud Director tenant portal URL and log in as one of the users. Verify that available permissions match the specified role of the user. For example, in this demonstration, a user with the vApp user role should be able to interact but not modify a vApp, while the user should not be able to view or change networks or organization administration settings. After logging out with the newly imported user, we log back in to the vCloud Director tenant portal as an organization administrator. If required, a user can be deleted from the vCloud Director organization, for example, because the person left the company. Before a user can be deleted, it must be disabled. Once a user is disabled, click Delete to persistently remove the user. In this case, the user with the pending deletion has been the owner of objects, like a vApp. We can select that the user's object should be handed over to the person that is executing the deletion. Click Delete and verify that the user has been removed from the list of the organization users. Next, we would like to show you how easily groups from an LDAP source can be integrated within the vCloud Director tenant portal. Click Groups within the Access Control section of the administration page. 
In the list, we can see that currently three groups are assigned to a role, which means that the members of those groups can work with the specified scope. If a new group should be added to the vCloud Director organization, click Import Groups and search for the proper group name. In this scenario, we have created Active Directory groups for the default global roles so that we can easily entitle new users to a specific role within the Enterprise Active Directory. We type vApp and select the proper vApp Users group. We assign the vApp Users role to this group and click Save. We will then verify that the group has been added to the list. If we want to create a custom role, we navigate to Roles. In this scenario, we want to create a new read-only role for audit purposes. We give the role the name Read-Only Auditor and select the rights that we want to give this role. The rights are grouped into the vCloud Director, Tenant Portal Pages, Access Control, Administration, Compute, Extensions, Infrastructure, Libraries and Networking. In total, over a hundred single rights can be used to create very granular roles. Remember, a service provider can limit the rights that are available to an organization. In our scenario, we want to give view permissions only to all vCloud Director Tenant Portal pages. Click the top level view checkbox and click Save. A new role is created. To assign this role to a group, click Groups, Import Groups and search for a proper group name. Select the group and assign the previously created auditor role. Click Save and verify that the group is available. Verify that you can log in to the organization's vCloud Director Tenant Portal with a user that is a member of the previously defined group. This concludes this demonstration of how an organization administrator can manage users, groups, and roles, and what steps are initially necessary by the service provider. Thanks for watching!